Welcome back to the Torque Test Channel, Walmart's hyper tough line of tools. With some recent introductions and prices that are too low to ignore, they might just cause you to scoop some of them up, and our viewers agree. Probably the number one request in the comments lately is to test these guys, and we agree too. So let's go shopping. We're always in pursuit of ways you guys can get performance without paying too much. So we're scooping up the Hyper Tufts Extended Length Ratchet Kit, Brushless 3 8 Compact Impact Wrench Kit, with some seriously up their specs, surprisingly, and their larger 4 amp hour battery, just for good measure. And that totals $140. Dang. As a comparison today, for no other reason than Hyper Tufts 12 volt tools look very Milwaukee-like, and people may know the performance of these for themselves as a good yardstick, we're going to be comparing that to M12, which, with comparable tools, kits, and batteries, is 680 bucks. Ouch. Let's dive in. This is the 3 8 Extended Reach Hyper Tough Cordless Ratchet, advertising 210 RPM and 33.3 foot-pounds of torque. And it's about 59 bucks as a kit. While Milwaukee and DeWalt are out here making $250 bare tool ratchets start to sound normal, a $59 kit from any store is going to be worth a look. Now stated RPM doesn't mean much on this channel since free speed can vary widely on these tools and also not mean a lot for you if it bogs down as soon as it sees any resistance. So we use the gauntlet, a series of increasing in size nylon lock nuts that represent some resistance one that would normally make you ratchet something back and forth by hand, but not crazy to overcome or anything like that. And then nuts at various torque levels, which more powerful ratchets can just undo with the pull of a trigger, but weaker ones require some hand ratcheting, which will slow it down. Lowest time is best, and this is up against the closest we think in spec extended reach, M12, the 2560. And yeah, this paints a pretty accurate picture, we think. It's not simply an RPM thing, which is why you can't go by the specs on these tools. The Hyper Tough at 210 RPM is supposed to be 10 RPM higher, but whether it's the smaller bolts on this end or the larger bolts on that end, the 200 RPM of the Milwaukee is just not slowed down much. And the Hyper Tough, well, it is. So the M12 finishes first, yeah, at 190 seconds, which in itself isn't all that great. It's the higher torque, not higher speed model. And even so, was going about 125 RPM on this larger stuff at the end. The Hyper Tough is just going 68 RPM here, resulting in a slower 279 seconds, that's four minutes and 39 seconds to do just these bolts. We found that the Hyper Tough compares closest to, in performance, this model, the Kimo off of Amazon. Very similar in design, in fact. Some Christmas tree lights indicating battery life that only go on when it's running. Same head size and ratcheting design. And as it turns out, the Hyper Tough is better than that Chemo. 279 seconds to 294. And seeing as this Chemo sells for 100 bucks, or roughly a $85 comparable one battery price, the $59 Hyper Tough is pretty good value. It's just the only thing is commonly found, not all that expensive options, like the 12 volt Husky from Home Depot and Durafix, two ratchets nowhere near the top, still do dominate it in time, and Harbor Freight Hercules does as well, for that matter. But that Hercules did make some popping noises when used by hand, so we'll have to see what's what on this one as well when it comes to torque. But speaking of torque, let's not forget the all-new 3 8 brushless compact impact wrench from Hyper Tough. Unlike the ratchet kit, this one comes with a 2 amp hour battery instead of 1.5, but we'll be looking at the performance with that and the 4 amp hour. It's brushless now, and it's 280 foot-pounds of torque. That would beat this M12 rated for just 250. For $59 as a kit, that's around what Home Depot wants for an M12 charger by itself. Proportionally, it feels pretty good too, maybe better than the M12 in the grip region. A bit longer at 5.05 inches, and sure, like the ratchet, it does sort of have some sharp edges where the two halves of the shell molding come together, like a lot of cheaper Amazon cordless tools do, but this is cheaper than what you're going to find a compact impact wrench kit on Amazon for, somehow, and with a warranty. Also like that ratchet, at this price point, you're gonna be getting this barrel plug thing charger. Not great. This maxes out at 400 milliamps, 0 0.4 amps. That means, even assuming zero efficiency loss, charging the 4 amp hour battery takes 10 hours. 
but they are $25 a pop, so maybe pick up a handful of them. Let's find out if that's worth it. Our first test is called Working Torque, five seconds and forward. This is what an M1238 does. One hundred and forty one foot pounds. Nice. Fairly decent and especially for 12 volt. And here's the new Hyper Tough. Just 81. So not breaking any records. Well, there's no need to pile on here, but that is a record low out of 25 compact impact wrenches tested so far. And you may have noticed that this was with a 4 amp hour battery, and that's because with a 2 amp hour battery, the one that's included with the kit, it does this. So the most we could get is a clean two to four seconds out of this guy before it cuts out. With the finger still at full beans, it just blinks away in forward or reverse. But hey, we know it makes at least 115. Let's head into max torque 10 seconds in reverse with that four amp hour battery for sure. Hopefully it likes reverse more in forward, which the M12 did a bit more here, seeing 216 foot pounds. Very good. Here it is. Just 133 foot-pounds, and not sure if this is coming across on camera. In person, it's much more pronounced, but the entire time you use this, it's going like... <laughs> struggling with that reset spring, or just programmed for the brushless motor poorly and not smoothing out that power. Either way, another record low. Right now, it's being beaten by a Wish Makita clone. That in itself is not a shining endorsement. Last up, let's finish this 15 seconds best case scenario in reverse. Two fifty one over one sixty five, chugging along the entire way, sort of like the engine that couldn't. Long story short, the M12 scores 234 here, and the HyperTuff 163.5, just barely saved from last place by Wish.com. The fact is, this doesn't make 280, and regardless of our measurement system, it's not an impact that should be advertising 280 or 225 to make you compare to other tools who do, because it might just leave you stranded if you think that. A DeWalt 12 volt Extreme can and should be rated in that range, and that's about 85 to 90 bucks right now. Can this loosen a lug nut if you're there? Well, not with the included battery, no. Here's that working on 95 foot pounds. Well, to give it credit, it is moving, just doesn't enjoy it. With a four amp hour battery, it seems like a task that's eventually doable on a greased bolt with even 65 being too tall of an order for the kitted form of the tool. The Ratchet, on the other hand, that's a tool with a very accurate torque rating, we feel. With the usual nudge, this tool makes it to 33 foot-pounds of the 33.3 advertised with a 4 amp hour battery, or 28 foot-pounds with the included battery. Not bad. When used by hand, this is the result. So at around 122 foot-pounds, it does let go, joining two other ratchets that died on the run up to 150 foot-pounds when used by hand, and taking the lowest figure out of the bunch, though only by a couple notches from the craftsman. So, this is a long story short on the Ratchet. It's a longer neck, slightly faster and higher torque version of the Chemo basically, and that earns it where lower is better, 304 points. And our recommendation, at least out of the hyper tough options here, 
A ton of people buy this chemo on Amazon for some reason, and while you could get a better ratchet kit for 60% of the cost, really all the Amazon type ratchets we've tested so far are not great. This Durofix is going for 140 bucks these days. Ouch, the Hyper Tough, which while slower than most, yeah, admittedly there's no getting around that, is still turning all of these sizes, so if you're not after that speed at the top options anyways, and just need to turn some stuff and save some effort, yeah, between these it's the better option out of the two because it sort of does what it's advertising to do, in worst case just does it a bit slower, while the impact is just not going to work on a lot of things. And, well, full disclosure, didn't work on any of our lug nuts here today, Though I've heard some people have taken lug nuts off with this, so maybe your mileage may vary. Really, with the value of these things, I wish instead of being like $59 as a kit, this was $59 bare tool, with a 4 amp hour battery being sold separately at that $25. Bucks. Then they use that extra little bit of cash to make it what it could have been, based on its size, weight, and feel of a brushless impact like this. It would still be under what most Amazon options are, and hyper tough when this thing was more like hyper rough to watch in person for some guys that really were rooting for these to embarrass the bigger brands. Until then, our current recommendations for price to performance in this range are, and we'll leave these links below, the 12 volt DeWalt, the Bosch Freak 1800 and 1860, or the brushless Bauer and Hercules impact drivers at Harbor Freight. Those are all more in the lug nut-ish territory while being the highest performance per dollar. We make episodes like this at least every Friday. Click things to be shown those. Thanks for watching.